So you want to be a picture book writer, then you got to write picture books. Hi, everyone. I'm Julie Headland, founder of the 12 by 12 Picture Book Writing Challenge and published picture book off. Here today to talk more about layers in picture books. If you haven't gotten our free guide to the top 10 layers in picture books yet, you can get it at 12by12challenge.com forward slash layers. It's completely free and it will give you insight into all the layers and the ways that we work with them to create complexity and depth in our picture books. Even though they're short, they still need to be deep. And today we're going to talk a little bit more about voice. I will tell you right now that the only way to get better at voice is to write a lot. Just write and write and write. And eventually you will become more confident in your own voice. But here's the tricky thing. There are actually at least four different levels of voice in all picture books. They're not all equal, and I cover this in the guide, but obviously you're the author and or the illustrator, so you're creating the voice and still coming from you, but there are different levels. So the first one is the narrative voice. This is the story voice, what it sounds like. If it takes place in medieval times, for example, or if it's on a ranch or if it's pirates, it's going to sound different depending on the type of story it is. So that's one level of voice. Another level is character. If you have characters, you have your main character voice, you have the voices of other characters. And even if you don't have a character, you still always have a narrator of sorts, somebody telling the story right? And then the next layer of voice is author voice. That is you on the page, almost like a fingerprint of how you sound as a writer. And it comes out in multiple books, even if you write very different types of books like I do, because there are certain topics and words or turns of phrase or ways of organizing sentences that are unique to you that will come out. The fourth level is illustrations. And even if you're not an illustrator, you still need to write with that layer in mind because the illustrations tell more than 50% of the story in picture books. In the guide, there are examples of books that are narrative voice dominant, character voice dominant, etc. But just know that you're really looking at all three, and many of us have a tendency toward one or another. I know my strongest is in narrative voice, but yours might be in character voice. So keep that in mind. And again, remember that what makes you better and more confident in your own voice is writing lots and lots, and also reading. When you read picture books, notice the voice and write down whether you notice the voice and whether you think it is most dominant in narrative character, author, or a combination thereof. Look at the illustration voice, etc. And that is how you study voice. Again, if you haven't gotten the guide yet, you can go to 12by12challenge.com forward slash layers. I'll be back again. Next time we'll talk about pacing. Ciao for now. You're amazing, exciting. Look out, cause you're writing. 12 by 12. 12 manuscripts. 12 by 12. 12 picture books.